there are a few species which live long after menopause in females. So we're one of them. Orcas or killer whales are another. Most species are capable of reproduction right until almost till the end. And so the question is, why would you want to, why would evolution select for you to live much longer uh, after you, you're not capable of reproduction? Or it, conversely, why is the ability to reproduce you know, curtailed so early, relatively early in life, maybe, you know, 30 or 40 years earlier uh, than your lifespan. And there's lots of theories about it. The one theory was that evolution selected a lifespan so that you would be able to take care of your children until they themselves reached reproductive age. So that means you had to live about 18 to 20 years or 15 to 20 years longer uh, than your youngest child, okay? And so that was uh, the reason for menopause, because you had to stop somewhere and then start taking care of your children. Uh, another is that uh, an idea called the grandmother hypothesis, which is that it was more advantageous uh, to stop having children and take care of your grandchildren and, and, and ensure their survival, uh, and that would somehow... But evolutionary biologists are not terribly fond of these uh, theories. These are called adaptive theories. They suggest you know, evolution has some uh, purpose other than just simply uh, fitness. And uh, they, or, or they benefit the group in some sense. Uh, and uh, they argue that it's, it could never be more advantageous to uh, take care of people who only have a quarter of your genes rather than produce more offspring who have half your genes. So there are all sorts of arguments flying back and forth. Uh, and one argument that I like was uh, proposed by uh, somebody who studied uh, aging research, Stephen Ostad, and he suggests that maybe uh, this is because our lifespan changed uh, rather dramatically about 40,000 years ago and so the number of eggs in a woman uh, that had evolved uh, throughout our uh, evolution uh, was for the earlier lifespan, and evolution simply hasn't had time to catch up to our increased lifespan. So it could be that early in our evolutionary history, menopause happened almost near the end of life, but since then we've increased our lifespan subtly, and, and menopause hasn't uh, had a time to it to adjust.